you buy a one year certificate of deposit for ten thousand dollars from First Command Bank. Use the APY from Table 4.1 to determine how much interest it earns for you at maturity. What that means is, open your book. Press pause and find your book if you don't have it. Go to page 197. 197, 197. Look at Table 4.1. See it? Rates from First Command Bank. For different certificates of deposit. Okay? all sorts of rates. So just quickly scan that table. We've got 30 day, 90 day, 1 year, 18 month, 2 year. Different types of certificates of deposit. For each type we have different amounts and we have APRs and APYs. Annual percentage rates and annual percentage yields. Right? Now, um, suppose you buy a 1 year certificate of deposit for $10,000 from First Command Bank use the annual percentage yield to determine how much interest it earns for you right first thing we have to do is find what is the APY for this case so it's a one year where's the one year CDs they're here aren't they right and it's ten thousand dollars. So which category is that? A thousand to nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, or ten thousand to ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, or one hundred thousand plus? There's three different uh, types here. So it's a definitely a one-year CD. We agree with that, right? So let's go. Which one of these is it? The top, the middle, or the bottom? Do 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 do. Any idea? Well, it's ten thousand dollars, so it's got to be in the middle range, right? Ten thousand to ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. So we go along here, and the APR at this rate is three point three five percent. We don't want the APR; we want the APY. Three point four zero percent. You got that? That's a one-year certificate of deposit, ten thousand dollars. It's three point four zero percent. Now you got to get that right. If you get the correct APY from the table then you're on the right track. So the point is we haven't been told the APR or the number of compoundings. Does that look confusing? Does that look make it look difficult? Uh, you know what? It makes it easier. If you have the annual percentage yield write this out. Annual percentage yield or APY is the amount of interest or the uh, yeah it's the, I mean it's the amount of the percentage interest earned okay in a year is basically the um, the yearly interest earned okay or the percentage of yearly interest earned. So, I mean, what what it's telling us is that if you invest ten thousand dollars in this one year certificate of deposit, you will get this amount of interest at the end of the year. Determine how much interest you earn at maturity. What does maturity mean? The end of one year, <laughs> right? So all we have to do is get three point four zero percent of ten thousand dollars so all it was all we had to do with this question was understand it and the calculation is just figure out this amount of this what's that write down the answer press pause and do it press pause three point four zero percent just want to make sure that go three point four zero per hundred plug it in the calculator and you shouldn't be surprised that zero point zero three four of is multiply times 10,000. Multiply this and you should have got $340. Right? So press pause and do this one. Suppose you buy a one year CD for 250000 from First Command Bank. 
use the APY from table 4.1 to determine how much interest it earns for you at maturity. Press pause, do the whole question, check the video. And the great thing about these videos is you can go ahead and press pause, make lots of mistakes. This is a great time to make mistakes. And then when you play the video, you'll go, oh, I get it now, that wasn't too bad, right? So go ahead and press pause, make lots of mistakes, and then play the video and see and learn something, right? Okay, I hope you press pause. I'm going to do it now, step by step anyway. So first of all, we need the APY. What's the amount of money? 250000 And it's a one year, a two year, an 18 month, or a 90 day, or what? What type of certificate of deposit are we talking about? I think it said one year. What do you think? So if it said one year, you go to one year. Forget everything else. Just this. Has to be one of these, right? Now we're looking for an APY, so you ignore the APRs immediately. Completely ignore those, right? Okay, so we're just looking at one year, and we're just looking at annual percentage yield. So it's got to be one of those three 3.35, 3.40, 3.60. Which one? $250,000. Sounds like uh, over a hundred dollars, hundred thousand to me, right? So this is a hundred thousand dollars plus, and that corresponds to three point six zero percent. Does that make sense? You're looking for annual percentage yield. So once you find that, the rest should flow. Three point six zero percent is the annual percentage yield. Now, use the APY to determine how much interest it earns for you at maturity. The APY literally means this is the amount of this is the percentage interest you're going to get at the end of the year. So if uh, you're investing two hundred and fifty thousand and your APY is three point six percent, they're telling you that the interest is going to be three point six zero percent of that. Press pause and calculate that. Got it? So this is 0 0.036 times 250,000. Put that in your calculator. 0 0.036 times 250,000. Press enter. 9,000. You get that? So after one year, at maturity means at the end of the one year. Okay, so nine thousand dollars is the answer. Answer Qu very quickly. Certificate of deposit kind of means you got to promise you're not going to take the money out. You're going to put a quarter of a million in there for one year. You're not going to touch it. If you do take it out before the, the year is over, then you'll be charged uh, big fines. And um, at the end of the one year, you're guaranteed this interest. We will definitely give you this amount of money. There you go. Right. So that's certificate of deposit. And um, last couple of examples we're going to do are example 15, 16. I'll do example 15 and you do 16. So, example 15. Suppose you buy a two year certificate of deposit for $5,000 from First Command Bank. Use the annual percentage yield from table 4.1 to determine how much interest it earns for you at maturity. We'll just start there and then we'll do the next part afterwards. So, Starting with that, it's a two year certificate of deposit. Page 197. Page 197. Open up your textbook. Look at the table. You got the table? Alright. It's a two year certificate of deposit. What rows are we talking about here? That's 90 days. Do you want to look over here? 90 days. Is that going to be a good idea? No? Nope. How about the one years? 18 months? Or how about the two years certificate of deposit rates? It's got to be one of those, hasn't it? So we should have it narrowed down right away to one of the two year CD rates. Okay? Now we're looking for annual percentage yield, aren't we? so we can completely ignore APRs immediately. So basically right away because it's a two year CD and we're looking for annual percentage yield it's got to be one of these numbers. Which one is it? 
What's the amount of money in there again? Five thousand dollars, right? Two year CD, five thousand dollars. So which uh, is it? A thousand to nine thousand nine hundred nine nine, or ten thousand to ninety nine thousand, or a hundred thousand plus? Which one? First, middle, or last? The first one, right? 3.85% because $5,000 falls in this range between 1,000 and 999,000, right? So 3.85% is the annual percentage yield we're looking for. Okay? And it's a two year CD. The question is, how much interest will it earn for you at maturity? Go ahead and press pause and try this and make a mistake on it and see what you come up with. You might get it right, you never know. But if you make a mistake, that's great because then you can play the video and you can go, ah, now I get it, right? Because you've thought about it. So press pause and try and answer this. You're able to do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So, the first thing you might think is, hmm, we'll just calculate the interest on this, and that's fine. Get 3.85% of 5,000. But that would give you the interest after one year. This is a two year. So, you got to, oh, hold on a second. We got to calculate for the first year and then for the second year. This is annual percentage yield, means it gives you interest each year. So what you're doing is you're putting your $5,000 in there, and of course you're getting back um, um, at the end of the first year, you're getting your 3.85% um, of 5,000. So I hope at this point we're familiar with multiplying that by 1 plus the 3.85% which is as a decimal what's that 0 0.0385 okay it's 0 0.0385 so if I take my 5,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.0385 I will get what's in the account after one year right and um, yeah we can just do that if you like 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0385, press enter, and of course that is, you know, uh, $5,192.50, and that's and this would give us the $192.50 interest after one year, but this is a two-year CD, so we want to, to know what happens after two years. Do you remember like a formula for that, comp compound interest formula? Same thing, isn't it? This is investing for one year, and then for two years, we multiply by the same thing again, don't we? So we take whatever this is, and then we multiply by that whole thing again, right? 1 plus 0 0.0385. Or in other words, we go 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0385, and we just square it, right? And that'll give us the interest after two years. Of course, there's no wrong way of doing it. If you get the right answer, you're right, and, and it's good to do it your own way so you understand it for yourself. That's the best thing of all. Okay, so um, I'll just do this as if I was using a simple calculator. So I'll go 1 plus that gives me 1.0385. I hope you're able for that. Then I've got to square it, so my whatever squared button you have, or power button, okay, and you get this amount and then you times that by 5000 okay so that's 5392 and we should probably round this to the nearest cent don't you think when you're working with money let's round to the nearest cent sometimes the dollar but but sometimes the nearest cent right so so round this to the nearest cent okay 41 hope you got that and then um the question is how much interest does it earn at maturity? What's the interest? The interest amount is 300 
because look, to get the interest, don't we subtract 5,000, the initial amount? Right? So our interest at maturity must be $392.41, right? So I think the, the nicest thing now would be just to please ignore this question, assume monthly compounding, just ignore that for now, and, um, and ignore this down here. And just do this part on, on exercise or, or example 16. Suppose you buy a two-year CD for 70,000. Use the APY from the table to determine how much interest it earns for you at maturity. Press pause, do the whole thing. It's just like the example we just completed. Okay. And, and ignore uh, this last line on each example. So just press pause and do this. Figure out how much interest you earn with example 16. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So, in example 16, you're going to take 70,000. You're going to invest it. And that means you've got to, so we need our APY for example 16. And of course, you're going to multiply it by 1 plus whatever the annual percentage yield is, right? And it's going to be in there for two years. So, this would be the amount you would get back after one year and after two years it would be squared right so all we need is the APY the annual percentage yield we can plug it in there and we're good to go so we take out our table hope you got this already page 197 table 4.1 look to the bottom because we're talking about two year certificate of deposits and it's got to be one of these annual percentage yields. You can ignore the annual percentage rate. And it was $70,000. Is that the this range, the middle range, or the bottom range? First range, middle range, bottom range. Which range of numbers does that fall into? The middle one. It's 10,000 to 99,999, right? 70,000 is in the middle range. And that corresponds to 3.90% APY, right? So the APY course is um, three point nine zero percent, and as a decimal, that of course is zero point zero three nine. Okay, hope you got that. And then you just calculate this. Press pause and calculate it if you haven't done it yet. Hope you tried it. I'm going to do it now. Seventy thousand times 1 plus 0 0.039 to the power of 2 and you should have been able to hopefully be able to figure this out and that gives exactly to the nearest cent 75,566 dollars which is the amount you get at maturity after two years, but we want to know how much interest it earns. So how much interest is in there at the end? Well, let's see. Subtract 70,000, and what do you get? Subtract the amount you put in there, and that'll give you the interest, right? Five thousand. Five hundred sixty six dollars forty seven, right?